Welcome back to the battlefields of the 41st millennium, where today it is Thousand Suns versus Grey Knights. This is Warhammer 40k. Okay, we are deployed, ready to start. So, on the battlefield, I have my Sangors, my Rubik Marines with Bolters, Inferno Bolters, Magnus, Araman's there, Infernal Master is there, Exalted Sorcerer, Vindicator, Predator, Rhino with Rubik Marines with the Warp Flamers. My Scarabacult Terminators are in reserve. And over here, what we got here? We got Castle and Crow. Castle and Crow with five uh, purgation squad. The purifiers are up there. Down here is a dread knight with a psych and incinerator and a sword. We have a five man strike squad here. A stormer even here. A rhino with a ten man strike squad in it. A land raider redeemer. And in space, I have a unit of terminators and Calrod Drago. Okay, so scenery wise. All these around the castle are all ruins, with the buildings being their footprints. And as for the castle walls themselves, we have decided they will be scalable and light cover. Right, this should be a fun battle, using two new codexes. Christian having been a veteran of the Grey Knights since their 5th edition codex. Yeah, but I didn't use them at all in 8. And I've never used Thousand Suns before, and the last time I played... Chaos in 40k was in 1994, quite some time ago. Okay, we've rolled to see as the first turn, and it will be Grey Knights turn one. Okay, so starting over here for movement, these guys move just an inch forward, so they're within range of them. Uh, these guys all ran down the castle. Dread Knight moved forward, they stayed where they are, Land Raider moved up, Rhino moved up, Storm Raven moved up. Right, on to Psychics. So, Psychics, to start off, Castellan Crow used Sanctuary on the Purifiers. My Dread Knight used Smite on Araman, uh, and then I used Mental Focus to let him cast another power, and I used Empiric Lodestone on the Vindicator. And then the Purigators used Astral Aim on to Shooting. So, the Purgation Squad just declared an attack at them. He used, what is it, Unwavering, Unwavering Phalanx on my Psy Cannons, which is annoying. Uh, I ended up killing, uh, I ended up dealing five wounds, which finished off the guy who was smoted and killed another two. So, first up, the Dread Knight fired at the Vindicator and did nothing. Then the Storm Raven split fire, did seven wounds to the Vindicator and nothing to the Rubric Marines. Okay, so the Land Raider just fired its weapons into the Vindicator and the Multi Melter managed to fin it, finish it off. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end of shooting for me. Uh, I'm not going to be charging. Did I get any victory points? No. Okay. In my command phase, Magnus used uh, Lord of the Planet of the Sorcerers on this unit of Rubik Marines so that they will be rerolling misses. Summarising movements, the Rubik Marines there disembarked from the Rhino, took that objective and the Rhino itself moved over there to block the path for that Rhino. That Predator stayed where it was. The Exalted Sorcerer moved into the ruins so we can actually see some things. The Infernal Master and the Zangor stayed where they are. Zangors are doing the um, Retrieve Octarius Data action. Araman and these Rubik runes got down from the battlements and Magnus moved up hoping to cause some psychic damage. And speaking of which, let's do some psychics. My Infernal Master started off by casting Time Flux returning one model to that unit and my exalted sorcerer smote 
the Storm Raven, causing it three. Right, so Araman casts Cacodemonic Curse on the Dread Knights, so it's minus one to the strength of his ranged weapons. And Magnus cast Doom Bolts and Zinch's Firestorm on the Purifiers. I killed three of them in the end? Three of them. Three of them. And I also rolled an unmodified roll of nine or more, so I was able to use Water Regeneration to bring back another Rubric Rain. Oh, he also cast Smite, but that was denied. It's the only thing I got to deny. Oh, my Doom Bolt, I used um, the Kabbalistic Ristual. Uh, da, 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 what was it called? Kabbalistic Focus, so that he couldn't deny that. In case you're thinking I forgot my Kabbalistic Rituals. Okay, that is Psychics over. Let's do some shooting. Shooting Face started with the best anti aircraft unit in the game, anything with a flamer, and I managed to cause six wounds on the Storm Raven. I used Infernal Fusillade Stratagem on this unit, giving my bolt guns an extra shot. And that resulted in the purifiers being wiped out completely. So to finish off my shooting phase, the Rhino shot at his Rhino, causing one wound. And the Predator shot at the um, Dread Knight, doing six. That is the end of shooting. Right, let's see if there's anything we need to do at the end phase. So at the end of turn one, I gained three victory points for Wrath of Magnus. On to Grey Knights, turn two. Okay, so in the command phase, I got ten victory points for holding three objectives, and I got a command point. On to movement. So everything moved up, and these guys deep struck. He used inescapable forewarning, and I used uh, haloed in soul fire. He managed to do two wounds on the terminators. On to psychics. Okay, so Drago did some Psychic stuff, he teleported them up there. He tried to do Vortex of Doom, but he used Psychic Dominion and denied it. So, more Psychics. Crow did Purifying Flame on Magnus and managed to do a nice six mortal wounds. Uh, these guys did Astral Aim. The Dread Knight used Empiric Glowstone on that Predator over there, and this unit used Hammer Hand. They also tried to cast Hammer Hand, but they failed. On to shooting. Okay, so the Purgation Squad just fired at Magnus, so I use Sanctified Kill Zone, because he's within half range. I only did two wounds. Oh well. Okay, so Terminators did two wounds, Crow did nothing, and Drago did another wound to Magnus. Other shooting. Okay, so the Dread Knight over here just peeked over at Tall Magnus, shot both its guns, did... four wounds? Something like that. Yeah. Okay, so this unit fired. I used the Cybolt Ammunition Strategy and managed to kill a whopping six Rubric Marines, which is quite nice. And the Rhino tried to pot shot at the other Rhino, but didn't do anything. Cool. Okay, Land Raider just shot. It fired both its Flamestorm Cannons into that Sorcerer, who is now just a pile of ash, and dealt six wounds to the Predator. So, the Storm Raven just fired. It managed to finish off the Predator, and I did two wounds to the Infernal Master over here. That is all shooting. There will be charging. Okay, so in the charge phase, these guys got in. They suffered three casualties in Overwatch. That's, that's doable. And then out of the three units here, none of them got into combat with Magnus. Not a single one. So, in combat, the one unit that did get in managed to wipe out the unit. Uh, so, victory points wise, I got three for Assassinate for killing the Exalted Sorcerer, and I got two for Engaging All Fronts because they're over there. Yep, that's the end of Grey Knight's turn two, on to Thousand Suns turn two. Okay, I'm starting off my second turn with three command points and 13 victory points. Right, Magnus has moved over there. They've advanced up there. Not advanced, they just walked. Araman went with them. Infernal Master went over there, but before he moved, he sent the Zangors over there with his relic. Um, that's all I've got. And then, oh, yeah, the Rhino went there to contest the objective, and the Terminators have landed there. Right, Psychics. 
Okay, Infernal Master cast Presage on that unit, so that gives them plus one to their hit rolls. Um, that unit then cast a Time Flux on itself, returning the final dead person. And that unit, the Terminator's cast Smite, but it got denied. Right, just Magnus and Araman to go. Araman tries Zinch's Firestorm and Doombolt on the Terminators, but both got denied. But I got a Smite, rolling an 11. So I did D6 wounds at killing two Terminators. Magnus started by casting Temporal Manipulation on himself to heal. And I failed that one. Well, I didn't fail. It got denied. Then I cast Dark Blessing to try and do some damage to Drago. I got it, but I didn't roll higher than his toughness. And finally I casted Psychic Stalk, rolled an 11. No, I, ca I cast it, rolled an 11. Higher than his leadership, so Drago is no more. It's because he's metal. Rupert Ring shot at the Terminators, and I managed to kill them all. That was a surprise to me. Um, that Rhino took a shot at that Rhino, causing one wound, and then the Terminators fired at the Rhino, causing a further five wounds. Right. Charging. Rupert Reigns took out a charge at Castle but failed. Magnus then charged and didn't fail. Terminators over there tried to charge the Rhino, but they failed as well. So, that means it's this battle here. The battle between Castle and Crow and Magnus. Well, as you can see, there's no Castle, so you know who won. Uh, but um, Castle and fought first using true silver armour. No, that's, that's not what made him fight first. No, but he did use it yeah. and he fought first. Causing one wound on Magnus. Then Magnus. Yeah, causing two wounds on Magnus. Then Magnus fought back and killed him. And then in his dying throws, he fought back but failed to cause any wounds. So there we go. And that was the only battle. So let's just add up victory points. So, at the end of turn two, the Thousand Sons have amassed 27 victory points and the Grey Knights have put 15. And I think it is now that I shall decide to call it because I, this was a very bad turn for the Grey Knights. This was a a lot of bad stuff happened this turn for me. I lost both my characters, all my Terminators, and I lost two of my objectives. If I'd have made that one, that one nine-inch charge, it would have been so different. Because I most likely would have killed Magnus and prevented all those losses. But nonetheless, it is here I must call it. Anyway, I enjoyed using Thousand Sons. I think this is the first game in 40k for a while that I've had so much fun playing. Yes. I think I might have found my niche for armies. I, I, I did enjoy the Grey Knights. I just I just need to finish painting them up. I've got a new scheme here. So yeah, that was fun. Thanks for watching, and we shall see you for the next game. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Duke says bye.